Christia, um, there are two deputy prime ministers on the podium, so I hope you don't mind, Christia, if I call you Christia. Um, how would you respond to this question? Do you worry about the staying power of the West? Um, so the short answer is, of course, it would be stupid and naive not to. But I think we're going to do it. Um, and I think, you know, of course I worry. I am ultimately extremely confident. And I am extremely confident, first and foremost, because of the magnificent, magnificent job Ukraine is doing. Um, we saw President Zelensky just now. I think it's right for all of us to honor Olena Zelenska, who is here with us, and of course, Yulia, um, and the people of Ukraine. And, you know, President Duda said something very important, many important things. Um, one was we need to listen to the Ukrainians. And Yulia said it too. We we need to get out of a mindset, which I think a lot of us had when the Soviet Union first collapsed, of like we were the smart guys and they weren't such smart guys. I also apologize to the Latvians for this attitude. Um, and we need to realize there's a lot we can learn from what Ukraine is doing right now. Uh, and that is ultimately the reason that I think we should have a lot of confidence. I think Ukraine is teaching all of us, again, the true strength of democracy. Something that in good times, it's easy to not think about that much, free. And I think what we see in Ukraine is people who are free, people who understand what they're fighting for, and I think very critically, people who have social solidarity. You know, it is so important that President Zelensky is there, that you have millionaires, multimillionaires, and their sons and daughters in Ukraine and on the front line. This is a fight of the whole country. So that's the first reason I'm confident. But the second reason I'm confident is, you know, President Duda quite rightly pointed out that this is a fight ultimately about values, and it is. But I think we in the West also need to understand that that victory that President Zelensky spoke about and that time which he said we need to use um, it's not about doing Ukraine favors um, that we're talking about. Supplying Ukraine with weapons, and as President Zelensky very crucially pointed out, supplying Ukraine with the money it needs to win the war is ultimately in our own self-interest. So I'm a finance minister, and if you were to say to me, what is the one thing that G7 finance ministers, G7 governments this year could do that's actually in our power, right? We don't control COVID. We don't control global supply chains. We don't control whether there will be immaculate disinflation or not. One thing where we have some real practical levers is we can help Ukraine win clearly, definitively. And if we do that, if that happens this year, you know it as well as I do, Fareed. That would be a huge boost to the global economy. So I do think Ukraine is going to win. I think Ukraine is going to win because the Ukrainians have shown total commitment and determination, and they've shown they're smart. I think we're going to win because our people, like I think, which is so often the case in democracy, People are smarter than their leaders. Um, certainly speaking for Canada, Canadians got this on day one. They understand that we need to stand up for democracy and democratic values, but they also understand our economies, our security, the fact that nuclear deterrence actually works. All of these critical things are really being decided on the battlefields of Ukraine right now. So I am, of course, worried. 
um, we would be stupid not to be, but I am ultimately profoundly confident 